Hello there. Hi everyone. I bring greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And it has really been a very, very blessed week and yeah, a very blessed weekend. It's, I know it's going to be a very, very blessed weekend. Yeah, so I just want to speak out loud today. And yeah, I just want to sh share certain things in my heart. And first of all, I want to thank you guys. Thank you so much. And of course, the greatest glory and honor belongs to our God. And uh, yeah, he's leading us and it, it has really been a blessing. And every individual out there, you guys have been a blessing. And one thing I, I want to share, and that is, I'm, I'm very thankful for all of you for the love and the support that everyone is showing and the way you guys are encouraging me and the way I'm getting to learn so much from you guys. You know, thank you so much. And I want to share something and it, it's a little personal. Well, I know a lot of you has been asking for my number and I know you guys want to speak to me. But you see, I want to make this mm, known and that is, I read your messages, I read emails, I read the comments and one thing I want to share with you and I want to be very um, verbal about it or yeah, very, very clear about it. Yeah, like, like that, yes. And that would be... I need you guys to know that I'm just a sinner, all right, and I'm nothing, and I'm from dust, and I'm going to go back to dust, and, in, you know, every day in my life, I'm just so surprised to God, I, I question him that, why would he want to use me, because what good does he see in me, that, that's the biggest question, and I know that God is the greatest lover, and he loves us, because he loves us, and, you know, I've shared with you guys, with, with regard to my accident, and to be very, very honest, the very day when I had my accident and I was the first one to come to come to sense and, you know, the whole time, I guess I was the only one. The rest of them, they went to coma. Yeah, one of them died. And yeah, so I was the only one who was in sense. I was, I was conscious and I was doing all the paperwork in the hospital. You know, that's unimaginable. Like that, that's what God can do. And, but the only question that would come to my mind is that, oh God, I am a sinner. I deserve to die. I've been very disobedient all my life and I thought, God, I deserve to die. And still today, I just wonder how, how would he not let me die? And how would he steal me from the face of death? And how would he want to use a person like me? Right? So that is how our God is. He loves us without any terms and condition. And there is a video coming in terms and condition. God's love for us, you know. He's been too, too, too good to me. And I know that he's been too good to the whole world. He's the father of the whole world. But sometimes we don't take time to understand or acknowledge his love for us. So that's where we fail. As, as a human, that's where we fail. But yeah, that's what I want to share with you guys. And... Yeah, that is one thing. And to those of you who are who want me to be your prayer partners, I would love to be your prayer partners. But the thing is, uh, a lot of people are trying to reach to me. And it's not just one to people who want me to be their prayer partners, but a lot of people want me to be their prayer partners. And I need you to understand that when you guys come up like that, I get pain in my heart. And a question arises. Who are you guys trying to seek, me or God? Because if you are trying to seek God, I want you to know that you don't need anyone else to collab with or you don't need anyone else to um, yeah, join hands with. I know this very thought of mine can be contradicted and I don't mind, all right? But uh, the thing here is this. God's looking for it, right? When Jesus, when yeah, when Jesus died on Good Friday, the temple veil was broken. And why was it bro broken? That's the question. Why was it broken? It was broken just so, you know, just so you and I can join Him very intimately, so that we can know Him very intimately, and so. So that we can have this, you know, very intimate relationship with him. Because we, if you are aware, then it goes, it goes like this. Religion has bonded everything before. 
and people were living by law. And according to law, the Gentiles can't enter the kingdom of God. I mean, the temple of God. And the people who are not holy can't present their offering to God. And only the holy or the very clean people could go inside. Right? But today we no longer live in that day. Today God has, the spirit of God doesn't dwell in the temples anymore. But he dwells in our heart. So, why are you trying to seek people? Tell me that. And that is one question. And you don't need anyone else. You just need God to complete you. The Bible says, seek and you will find. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, if you seek, you're going to find. You're going to find him always. And he's, he's always available. So seek him with an, with an earnest heart. But don't have this attitude, you know. You just pray. You just, you're just praying a prayer and you're like, oh, God, help me in this and this. And when God actually wants to help you and he shows up, you're not available. <laughs> so most of the time it's like God is available, but we are not available. So it shouldn't work that way, right? He's your best friend and the best counselor you can ever have, all right? And I'm telling you this because I've been a people seeker all my life. I've, I've seeked people. I've seeked for counseling. I went for... Nothing worked out, all right? Until I decided to be intimate with God. Until I decided that I am the temple of God and I should go before God and He's going to love me just the way I am, all right? And He loves me just the way I am. And I, I'm a very flawed person, honestly, and... I'm learning every day and it takes a lot of, you know, I'm just speaking out here with a lot of conviction, all right, just trying to confess certain things and that is it. I'm trying to change myself every day and I don't want you guys to look at me as being something, all right, because I'm nothing and I'm just growing, just learning. God is humbling me every day. He's, he's bringing situations that is changing me every day and I don't know how to thank him. And that is it. So this evening, we'd love to speak about um, discipleship. And um, it'll be, I think it will be very good if some of you can bring up questions or we can have a uh, kind of conversation. Because most of the time, I'm only speaking. I'm the only one who's speaking. And I believe now I'm in a period where I want to learn. I want to hear more than me trying to share something. So that, that's it. And... I, oh, I, need you, I need you guys to know that I really need prayers. I really need prayer support. And bring, I'm bringing the word every day, all right? Like seven days in a week. And it's not easy. It's not easy. You know, sometimes I'm like, oh, God, speak to me. Because I don't believe in following people, all right? But I believe in what God has to tell me. Holy Spirit conviction, Holy Spirit inspiration. So I'm like, oh, God, speak to me. Tell me what word do I have to bring to his ch children? And he, he tells me, and that's what I'm trying to share here. So none of the things that I say are on my own, all right? And so I urge you and request you not to thank me. Rather, pray and thank God for the word that she has blessed you. Because that, those words are not from me and they're, they're not in my strength. Had it been in my strength, it would have looked something very different, all right? But that's not on my own strength. And so I don't want to take their credit. And I believe that only God deserves it, so... Yeah, that is it. I hope this message reaches out to everyone. So we're having a Zoom meeting this evening, uh, 6 p.m. We're going to talk about discipleship. And yeah, a lot of you has been asking some questions. So I think I would love to deal with personal questions there. And the meeting is only for 40 minutes. So please don't be late. 6 o'clock will start. will not go beyond 40 minutes. I know a lot of you must be scared when I say it's the meeting. And you're like, oh, I'm just going to spend hours speaking. So no, don't worry. I'm not going to spend hours speaking. It's only going to be um, for 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I hope uh, we'll, we, we just want to talk about, um, I think, the present context. So this will be the same topic that will be explained tomorrow, but in Nagamese. So pray for me. Pray for my team members. Um, kindly pray for my director, brother Obi. You know, um, please pray for him and his studio. And now that we are home, we are not able to go to studio. So like we're just shooting with our own mobile phones. <laughs> yeah, this is one problem. And kindly pray for Sister Priya. Her health is not doing well. And yeah, kindly pray for her and all our spiritual lives. We really need prayers. So that we will all be geared up and we will not live carnally. We will not have a carnal mind, but we will live spiritually and pray that we will be ready to give up 
give up, like really love God, even at the cost of our own lives. Can you pray for that? I thank you. And God is good. God is great. And uh, if you're wondering what that is, that one, that picture over there, that's from Joshua 24 verses 15. It says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Right. So as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. So yeah, we need to be a generation that even if no one's watching, even if you are alone, even in, in your own family, you got to seek God. So yeah, kindly tune in for uh, this evening's Zoom meeting. And God bless you all. And expecting to see you guys there. And I've been praying for you guys. And do let me know about your spiritual walks with God. That's what is more important. Let me know about how I can pray for you rather than trying to thank me because I don't deserve it, all right? I don't deserve it. So, yeah, thank you so much. God bless you all. Shalom.